Hello and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 22 over on Court Farms. Right guys, I have put my guys, well I put one guy onto a worker, I say a guy, it's the Dragon Lady. Um, <laughs> yeah, I have put the Dragon Lady onto a worker uh, to do one of the plowing contracts. I have also changed this to, I believe to be two day months, if I did it right, which doesn't surprise me if I didn't, yeah look, two day months apparently. Um, so that should help with some of the jobs. And we're going to leave the, basically the time on five for now. Right, let's have a look in the little shop. See what there is. Because we really could... That's actually not too bad. I think I can get bigger and better though for less money. Ooh. Oh, it's a multi-fruit one as well. Um, Yeah, we don't have the ability to buy any of these. Right, but I have an idea, guys. I have an idea. Oh, this is also a bonus episode of the week. I did said I weren't really going to do one this Friday, but I've kind of... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just here today. Kids have been super quiet. Actually, to be honest, my kids are still in bed. They're uh, refusing to get up there. I literally went up this morning and went, come on, time to get up. And they're like, no. And I'm not arguing with them. You know, the, the holidays are nearly over for the kids. Um, There is a field around here for sheep. I can't see anything in this weather. It's too dark. Let me just at least make it bright enough to see. There we go. So we have a field round here that is for the sheep. Uh, it is this one, okay? And this field here, I think, and now I keep going on about getting a new tractor, all right? And I know I keep going on about getting this new tractor. This sheep field is 29,000 pound. If we buy this sheep field, put some sheep in it we don't technically have to feed them we have the grazing mod they'll just eat the grass on the ground so instead of making like i'm bringing in say like a greenhouse to help us bring in a little bit of extra side money the sheep can do it with the wool we don't we don't need to feed them then we don't need to really do anything with them so i think personally but we do have a cultivating contract i, I just want to quickly knock out of the park it, it's relatively big it's right near our farm as well guys to be honest um but yeah i want to get this done i want to get a couple of the you know a couple of the other jobs done that we have got to do on them you know we have got contract wise um i have got rid of a lot of cultivating contracts we are only going to be looking at doing contracts around our farm area now um we will travel for plowing and cultivating though once we get a third tractor um but yeah i really really want to get that sheep field i was looking at it off recording yesterday i was in core farms in a different save just testing something and uh yeah the i i personally don't feel like the caravan areas they are a great idea they're just a hundred thousand pounds for a field that doesn't earn us a lot of money it would take us the rest of the series to earn that field back you know what i mean a hundred so a hundred thousand pounds is a lot to it. plus we don't have a hundred thousand right now um now technically a third tractor would be better than maybe getting the sheep field because it would in theory earn us money straight away but the sheep are a long-term thing we can buy them as little we can buy little sheep when they're fully grown we can sell them on and we can uh, you know so we'll make money from selling them and we'll have the wool and we'll breed them up and you know depending on what it is space wise we might buy 25% for example as adults and let the re you know and breed the rest as babies for free so it, you know it won't earn us loads to begin with but it's still an income basically that's what I'm thinking and it's definitely a better income for the wool than it is doing the, um, the caravan club I feel like Jay from in between us with the caravan club <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, this is relatively near. So what we've got here is we've got field 17, which is what we're doing right now. We also have field number five, uh, which is literally uh, just at the back of our farm. So between doing those two contracts and the plowing contract we have right now, we should be in a position to, uh, 
to be able to get the sheep. So I'm, like I said, that I know. Like yesterday's episode is like I've got a plan. Let's get rid of the tractor. And then today I'm like, no. But I I just feel right now the sheep can earn us money over winter. We're gonna have no grass contracts over winter. We'll have most likely very little or no seeding contract. We would most likely be harvesting like say potatoes, sugar beet, things like that. They're not the best. What they're not the best jobs to do. They do take quite a while to do. So I don't know. The, the sheep can just kind of get us a little bit of a bit a bit of money basically. Um, I want to get chickens. I know eggs are really good money on this game. But once again, we don't have any feed for them at the moment. So next year, we need to be looking at wheat, barley, sorghum. Ideally, barley and wheat fields are, should be better. Sorghum sells for too good a price to feed the chickens in my eyes. Just as a, as a personal preference. But yeah, I, I do, you know, there was a couple of comments before I recorded this one. I'm, I'm late recording today. I wasn't, like I said, I wasn't really gonna. And I did say Fridays don't, videos don't tend to perform very well from previous analytic checks. And, but yeah, I just thought, you know, we didn't have any videos last week because, you know, I got a bit annoyed and things like that and kind of forgetting about that. But, you know, I thought, well, no, I'll, I'll, I'll do a video. You can have an next one. But if you want more videos, like I say, 50 likes, that's how you get more videos. I'm hoping the, uh, my what is it guy is going to be, uh, finished soon, the plowing guy. Because I could get this guy on a worker here, just a, an everyday worker. And then we can maybe go and move the, uh, plow contract. Or move the tractor. I think I've got one more. Plowing contract, 93 I think it is, and it's by the shop. Yeah, I've got so many different tractors I want to, I kind of want to buy. Um, I'm kind of spoiled for choice. And to be honest, I was kind of hoping maybe, just maybe, there would be a one come up in the discount store this month. But we were not lucky enough to have that. Um, but yeah, we, I, I think the sheep serve a purpose we don't have to feed them we don't have to be, oh let's go do a grass contracting you know i, I want to get cows but i'm i'm yeah that kind that kind of sound effect kind of should say everything about that that mm, i want to get the cows but the problem i've got with the cows is just the fact that there's no manure there's no slurry. We'd have to buy it and build a barn. So I'm thinking the cows we put in that field will be grass-fed cows. I say grass-fed, hey. There's no point feeding cows on this game grass because they just don't produce anything. Just, it's just kind of pointless, really. I think grass on Farm Sim 22 is kind of pointless. It gives you 10% productivity, but the actual game itself doesn't actually give you anything. Uh, always stays at zero. So yeah, that that's kind of that's kind of the plan. I think it's. Uh, I've been in this episode now for ages now. I haven't really done much. <laughs> I haven't done much, but kind of chat on and yeah, we'll we'll get a time lapse going. I just want to. I'm I'm just waiting for that plowing guy to finish. We could go quickly plow field 93 in a time lapse. It's a very 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 small field. Come on, Mr. Leyland. I know you're struggling ever so slightly. We are starting to uh, progress well. And like I say, once we get some kind of like little side income, and I, I do class sheep as a side income. I really do. Once you buy that 30 grand, uh, 30, I think it's like 26, 28,000 for the field. The only thing we'll have to buy is a water tanker. Now, we will have to buy a water tanker. That's uh, something that's got to be done in order to have the sheep, but it's not the end of the world either, do you know what I mean? We can soon pick up a cheap little water tanker. Like we have got some modded ones that are relatively cheap. 
would just uh, help get the uh, the sheep in. Uh, 17. Oh no, we are 17, aren't we? I feel like my plow's stuck. It doesn't really look like he's moving. It wouldn't surprise me if that worker, that like I said, that worker is in the Renault. <laughs> I don't know why I've done it. Why have I put the worker in the Renault on a on a course for that Renault is just useless sometimes. And yet sometimes when I drive it personally, it's brilliant. As soon as I put a worker in it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's absolutely, absolutely crazy on uh That ran up with a worker. Yeah, this field's nearly done now. Yeah, field 93 will take us near the shop. We could always buy a water tanker quite early on. Like I say we we might be able to buy the uh, sheep field once we've done this. Now we won't. We most likely won't be able to put some sheep in it today. It might be a case of well, we'll need to do a couple more different contracts, but we'll we'll see. We'll see. I'm not very good at guessing that um, that width, am I? Oh no, the, the guy is actually. I don't know what he's doing, but he is actually doing something. I'll tell you what it is. I bet you he's stuck in, like, uh, first to second gear. I bet he can't get into third, and he's going mega slow. That worker was on before I pressed the record button. It was before I slept in, you know what I mean? He, he's, he's been on a while, and he's done, <laughs> done not a lot. Well, as you know, when I first started, uh, you know, when I first started talking, it was like, oh, 10%. I was like, oh, well, that's not going to take long. How wrong was I? How wrong was I? If not, we'll just have to go and do field number five, but we will do five in a time lapse. I uh, I do want to try and get a little bit more done in an episode. I might have a slightly longer episode today, Friday. It's not Friday for me, but it'll be Friday when you guys get this video. It is also the last day of the month, so Patreon supporters, uh, just a little reminder, when you get this video, it will be Patreon Day. Uh, do massively appreciate everybody who does still continue to support the channel massively. Massively, massively, massively appreciate it. It helps me keep the videos moving and coming and being produced. I've been in I've been in a little thing at the moment where I've been chatting to people over in the Discord, those who were YouTube members, and they are slowly uh, moving over to Patreon because it does help me better. Um, it doesn't technically cost any more um, than what, say, a standard YouTube membership does, but if anyone did or is thinking of subscribing to the channel and supporting it that way, you know, please use Patreon. It is a lot better. Um, Long story short, for example, YouTube takes like 30%, Patreon takes, I think it's 5%. Big difference. You know what I mean? It makes me 25% better off, basically, for supporting. Plus, if you're going to support anyone, you know, if you are going to support anyone on, you know, any kind of content creator, I would always recommend using, like, Patreon, Kofi's, things like that, because it is always a lot better for any content creator. I say YouTube, I know they need to make their cut, but they make their cut through adverts. And if you're, you know, if you actually feel like, you know, I want to support, say, any content creator, always use other options. YouTube is not the best for supporting. It, it's a brilliant way of doing it, but yeah, it's, um, it's, it's the most expensive for the content creator. They get, they get next to nothing content creator, you know what I mean? You lose thirty percent. So if you, you know, who wants to lose thirty percent? You know what I mean. And if you want to give to a content creator, for example, you know what I mean, you 
you know they've already lost 30%. You know what I mean? It, it just kind of... Yeah, I've always been a fan of Patreon. Always. Been. Ever since my Minecraft livestream days, it's always been better to be over on uh, Patreon. But that's just, just a little heads up to anyone. You know, payments do come out on the first of every month. It makes it nice and simple. Um, but yeah, that's kind of tomorrow. Or oh, it'll be today when you get this video today when you get this video so yeah hopefully uh, i see some new people over there but you don't have to i don't particularly don't say you need to do it you know but i do have some awesome people who do who do support the channel like that and uh, i am eternally grateful for it we are nearly done yeah this field has taken i didn't plan on this field taking 15 minutes to do at all, not remotely. There we go, field 17 is done. So that is this field done. So field number five. So there is a way to our farm. It's a little bit of a, a sneaky way, as I call it. Um, well, I actually thought I was getting more money than that. I did genuinely think I was getting more money than that. But yeah, if we go this way, uh, if this was a crop field, I'd have driven around the edge, but it's not, so it's fine. If we don't do a time lap, we're not, you know what I mean? At five times, we've only used, uh, we've only done like an hour in game. Crazy. I think it's that field just over there to the right. So we we'll drive over here. This bit of land here, you see this bit of land here, guys? This bit of land you cannot buy in the map. And I bought, I'm thinking of maybe placing a cow shed on it, to be honest. No, it's not that field, it's the one behind me. Um, yeah, I'm still thinking of placing, because I've got the mod where you can place anything anyway. I'm thinking of putting a cow barn on it. Now we will technically pay for the land, but I'm just thinking it might be better for us if we, uh... Ah, okay, I was actually going to drive that one. I've done the wrong one. Right. Let him go on there. I told you he was struggling. I told you he was struggling. Okay, I, I didn't plan on him struggling quite so badly. But as soon as I do this, look, it doesn't struggle for me. Let me just quickly finish this guy off. And then we'll, uh, I think we'll drive up and do field number 93. No, it's not 93. What? I don't know, I don't know. 47. It's a very, very small field to do. Very small field to do. Yeah, that, that's that's why it's taken so long. This guy spent hours just basically sat wheel spinning. Now, I know it's my own fault. We should have wide tyres on or dual tyres doing this kind of work, but I didn't, I didn't have them at the time. I used what I had. Right, come on. Wow, that, do you know something? That hill's steeper than you think, isn't it? Right, let's get dry. There we go. That's the problem. It's the different textures. It doesn't like driving on the plow texture. What I might do is instead of lifting up, I might just do what I did yesterday and, uh, for example, and just do that. Keep the revs going. I know it's not the best way to plow a field. Just this Reynolds not the best. I am going to be getting rid of it. It is on the let's get rid list. But right now, uh, I just can't. I can't justify getting rid of 145 brake horsepower. That is the biggest thing right now. We'll tidy up the edges if we need to. I'm just trying to keep... There we go. I don't even need to. So if I just go on there, and please give me enough money to buy the sheep field, 2,000. Let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. I 
think it's that one. 29,000 I need. So that's not actually doable. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this into a time lapse. And I'm going to go up and do field 47. And I'm going to basically just come back in after that. So there's no point us buying the field if we can't get the water. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, we've still got field 5 to come in. So we should be able to do it. Just, I don't know. We'll, I'll see you when I've done field 47. I think that's going to be the best way to work, work that one out. to be done i never actually saw it come up say it was completed i knew it was completed i bloody knew it i bloody knew it but yeah there we go so that is that one done now i'm hoping we can maybe yeah, 1400 pounds so that's still not quite enough money to buy the field right now but i don't think we've got any more plowing contracts have we There's some really nice size cultivating, 92. Well, there's 93. This is the only issue I have with this. <laughs> I can never find the fields, ever. I can never find the fields. Where's 92? Oh, 92. It's not far, I suppose. I suppose to put a worker on that one, it would be a good idea. If we get a worker on that cultivating job, it wouldn't be the end of the world. We need to buy a bigger cultivator, but again, we know. Age old issue on this series of we need more power. Literally the biggest issue on this uh, on this series is we need more power. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just nip to the shop, we're gonna buy a tanker ready for the sheep. Buy a tank and we'll, we'll buy whatever's cheapest. It doesn't matter on capacity. I'd rather do three or four runs we can always upgrade the, the tanker at a later date. We'll get the plow onto the front of the Renault. We'll get the track. Uh, we'll get the tanker on the back of the Renault, and we'll drive ourselves. But I was going to do it off recording, you know, not off recording, but you know, in, in the time lapse. But have a look at what options we have just make sure there's not oh there is new stuff coming in the shop so we need animals i always use that one that's the problem always use that one because it's got a really good capacity ten thousand liters But, you know, at the end of the day, we are, uh, we're poor. Oh, that's a bit, that's a bit too bright, is that? That's not too bad. It's as galvanized -y lucky as you're going to get. So that's, wow, that's three and a half thousand to change the color. I, I had to change the color, though. It was just awful. 
Um, right, so we need to lower that down. We need to do that and then do that. And then we need to go and get our tanker. So we're back down to £24,000. So yeah, we're not maybe necessarily in this episode going to make the, the field. But we are like on the verge. Now, I suppose I could get rid of the Kubota. The whole point of me keeping the... jobs close to home was so that we didn't really have to do... Hey, oh, I've left me wait. There's me wait. I'll have to come back for that when I've got uh, more... more carrying space. Field 5 is 60% done as well, so that's really, really handy. Yeah, we have got some sowing contracts. Again, we have got seed on the farm. All of our seed, I don't. there isn't a full bag of seed. Now, there is if you add them all together, but all our seeds are part bags. So, we do need to be looking at getting some more seed relatively soon. The Reynolds not too bad for speed at 26 mile an hour. See, that's maybe what we keep the Renault for. Because if we look at one of the options I was looking at Ford-wise, just because they were cheaper and I've fixed them, so it'd be nice to use them, um, they aren't the best on speed. So maybe we keep the Renault as a... to and from the shop tractor. We, you know, I know at the moment that's what the Kubota is, but I'm thinking the Kubota might be sold. If we sell the Kubota, that'll give us eight grand. That'll get us the sheep. We sell the Kubota. We can get the sheep. But it would mean slow seed refills again. See, this is my problem. I'm, I'm tempted right now, right this second, I am tempted to sell the Kubota. But I'm thinking when we come to do fertilizer, then again, if we do fertilizing contract, if we put it on the Renault again, 26 is better than 19. Oh, guys, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I, this, this is this is my problem. I just want to sell everything. I want the sheep. The, the sheep will earn us money. The sooner we get them, the sooner they will earn us money. currently paying under minimum wage seven pound an hour <laughs> hey it's not my fault i just upped the time i don't know if you noticed in the time lapse i did just up the time just to how much are you worth little kabota how much are you worth i am so tempted you're worth you're gonna be worth about ten thousand pound you're gonna be worth ten thousand pound Oh, I'm... I'm fighting with myself here. Like in the next episode, I could go out and do them through contracts. We could do 92. We need to be doing field 120. Canola. So, yeah, see, we can't get rid of the... Uh, yeah, we can't get rid of the Kabor. Field 120. Where is... 120... Hang on a minute, I thought I went through... I thought I went through all the lists. I did, I did. I went through all the lists and then I didn't save it. And it's alright, it's me. I've made a... I've made a, a rookie mistake. I've made a rookie mistake. So yeah, we can't get rid of the Kubota just yet. So we're not able to get the sheep today. That is... To be honest, that's gutting. is absolutely gutting we are literally maybe well right now we're five thousand pounds short of getting the field that's exactly what we are five thousand pounds short of the field 
So we, we were a little bit a little bit gutting with that one, not being able to uh, to get it. But we will get it very very soon. It's just a case of um, right. Where am I going to put this? Don't mind me. I'm kind of leaving this one empty for the harvester, but we don't have one at the moment. So that can just go and sit into there. Yeah, if I go and do field 120 now with some seeding. Um, it's a very tight yard, guys. This this uh, Renault probably as big as you really want to go around here. But if I go and set this up on field 120, that's like a £4,000 job. I'm not close enough. We've got almost a full tank. I had problems getting everything in this yard. It's a very, very tight yard. Let's just uh, leave it at that, shall we? So yeah, what I'm going to do for the next episode is I'm basically going to go and drive this over to field 120. Um, there's about three fields all in a row more or less in a row that I all want to uh, all need seeding in October so if we can go along to there and get them get them. really you're gonna rain you're gonna rain right that might just hamper our issues with seeding in the next episode but I am gonna leave this episode here just because I am basically well over what I would have as a record time probably i'm not 100 sure um i'm gonna drive there i'm gonna leave that worker going on the cultivating job worst case scenario i might move the cultivating guy over to the next field ready so hopefully by the end of the next episode we will 100 percent have sheep mm -hmm. we'd have had sheep in this one if I didn't have to buy a water tanker and then I spent a thousand pound painting it I should have just left it green but yeah hopefully guys you have enjoyed this episode I've had an absolute blast thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next episode